Hello Identity 5 Gamers! Today, we have a new series that I am starting up. You know Spectate the Pros? Yeah, does anybody actually watch that? That's kind of what made me think about this new series. So this new series, I'm gonna call it Pro or No. I don't really know if there's a better name than it for now, but we're gonna go with that. And we're basically just gonna watch people on Spectate the Pros and see if they actually, you know, deserve the name of pro. Yeah, let's get started with this uh, Koa Prospector here in the champion tier. Are we watching the Prospector here? Going up again, oh my gosh, did I really have to click on a freaking Bonbon bon game, bro? He is actually Monokuma here, that's that's pretty funny. Uh, most likely gonna be a tie, but you know what, this, this should be interesting. It is a pretty high tier, so this is gonna be uh, at least interesting to watch what these people can do here. So already sets up, doing some Cypher progress here. We're gonna be mainly watching uh, the people that were, you know, on the, uh, you know, that were given the Spectate the Pros position. We also have Batter on the team who's currently taking Chase, Seer, and the Enchantress uh, as well. But since Batter's taking the kite here, we'll just watch the Batter here, because uh, all Prospector is doing is decoding, and I really don't want to just watch decoding gameplay. Uh, so yeah, Bon Bon is Chase kind of mid, Enchantress is here for the support already. Um, double Harass on Bon Bon actually might not be too bad. Decides to swap targets actually to the Enchantress. That's an interesting choice because I believe every single time uh, Enchantress gets chip hit. Yeah, she says you're on your own. Every single time Enchantress gets hit by a chip hit, she does get um. Okay, she does get some stuns. Already has one stun to work with. About to have two. Uh, just about to have two. So the closer Bonbon bon gets, um, the more she'll have chances for the stuns. However, he will be able to just chip her down. Uh, yeah, she says, she even says, don't rescue me. Goes for the, the blink, but this is Enchantress. If she needs to transition a bit, just use a stun. Yep, there's a stun. First stun. Gonna be able to drop this pallet here, hopefully. Probably gonna take a chip hit, we'll see. Oh, doesn't even drop the pallet. Not even looking behind her at all. Okay, finally starts looking behind her. Bon Bon's pretty close. Goes for another stun. Now she's saying, help me. Yeah, honestly, you want to harass this character as opposed to, um, yeah, that was, that... I knew that was going to be Terra Shock. She had Flywheel, though. Actually, this Enchantress is not running Borrowed Time. She could have Flywheeled there. She 100% could have Flywheeled there. All right, let's see. The person that we're actually supposed to be watching here, the Prospector. Um, actually, you know, Prospector might not be, not be too bad. Yo, they are just spamming you're on your own. What the heck? You're on your own. You're on your own. Yo, you guys, like, are so mean to each other. Um, but yeah, Prospector might be able to get this rescue here. Honestly, they have two stunning characters. And wait, hold on, Seer actually will be so good. No, this is actually a free rescue if Seer gives them an owl. I don't know why they're double rescuing. Um, that's a bit interesting. I guess it is Bonbon bon after all. Oh, uh, careful. Nice, okay, hit, hits 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 the Bonbon bon away from Prospector. Wow, what? Bonbon bon must have a long... I know, I know Bonbon's hitbox is bad, but it must linger for a good amount of time. Uh, Batter is here, misses the ball, unfortunately. Um, well, there's our buddy Prospector. The thing is, again, Bonbon bon just wants to camp. So he is completely fine with changing targets, dude. This is, he just aims for ties, bro. He literally just aims for ties. Um, I feel like Seer should just give them an owl, though. Just give them a free rescue. Like, Seer being here literally gives them a free rescue. So I don't know why he's not giving them owl. Even better saying, help me. Yeah, he should get owl here soon. Seer? Okay, Seer stopped uh, ciphering, so he should get an owl any second. Come on. There's the owl. Okay, perfect. Nice, 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 nice. You didn't even try to throw a magnet? Really? Batter, you need to clutch up like right now, bro. Batter, come on. What? Really? Okay, Enchantress should come in. Well, maybe not. Enchantress has three stun, so she might come in. Oh, she's coming. Okay, Enchantress should honestly just three stun here. Yeah, she should literally just three stun. And then rescue. Come on. There's three. Yeah, there's a three stun. Yep, nice, nice. Good work. Like I said, dude, like I said, now you have to start using these magnets right now. Right now, dude. Okay. Did he get magnet? I couldn't. I don't think he did. Oh, be careful here, bro. Oh, he's gonna get chipped. Yeah, he's gonna go down. Dude, this Bonifin. This bo freaking Bon Bon. Oh, the battery's still here, though. Cypher. Oh, they're still. Yeah, their Cypher is about to be done from the Seer, but they're still. That was a choice. Um. Okay. Batter goes down. Yeah. Um. Okay. This is. This is unfortunately. Uh, yeah, no, this is, is this Prospector's last chair? Hold on. I think. Oh, it is. It is. All right. Well, um, the person who was on Spectre the Pros has died. Uh, well, can we officially say they were not a pro? <laughs> so, I, this is such a, like, a mean series. I'm just starting to realize that. We literally just find people on Spectre the Pros and be like, are you good at the game or not? <laughs> Coming from me who's bad at the game. I don't know. 
Um, anyways, freaking Monokuma puts them back in the chair. Uh, that's Bon Bon at least. This this might honestly be. Nah, it should still be Ty, right? He, it, it, unless he can farm up an owl. That's the only chance they have, I think. It's the only chance they have. Yep, gets chipped. Oh, oh. Yep, down to Seer. Cypher pop. Get the rescue. And no Tide turn or anything. Oh, but Batter has the. He's got a ball. Bob on swaps a teleport. He, if he can hit him with a ball here. Yo, throw it out already. Come on. Throw it out already. He didn't. Oh, my. You had it charged up that whole time! Alright, this should still be Ty, though. Freaking Ty God Bon Bon, bro. Wait, hold on. The, the exit gate. Oh, hold on. Maybe not. No, they, sh they should be able to get out in time. They should be able to get out in time. Oh, but his teleport. Hold on. No, she should be able to get out. Come on, Enchantress. You have Flywheel. Yeah, she can get out. Yeah, stalling, stalling, stalling. Good, 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 good. Yeah, stall, stall as much as possible, that way Seer can get out. Yeah, bro, it's a tie. Wow, what, 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 how expected. How very expected from a freaking Bon Bon match, bro. Uh, freaking tie god Bon Bon, bro. All right, well, instead of actually rating people at how well they did, you know what I think is a better idea? Let's just rate on a scale of 10 how entertaining the match was. Honestly, dude, that's probably like a five. You know, all, all things considered, for a Bon Bon game, it wasn't really that bad because there were a lot of harassing type characters, but it was kind of sad to just see, like, you know, them just get immediately getting farmed off the chair. Uh, and the harassers were very, very patient with their items. I feel like they could have just spanned their items a bit more. Anyway, let's watch some violinist gameplay. Will this Vio cook? Are they a pro or no? <laughs> oh, yo, immediately starts popping off. That's so cool. All right. Well, they're going up against Mind's Eye, Antiquarian, Gardener, and Entomologist. Yo, Melly? Oh, I think that's Kongo Melly too, bro. All right, yeah, it looks like the Mind's Eye... Oh, I'm sorry, the Gardener is transitioning out of this area. Yeah, I'm gonna be chasing Kongo Melly. Let's see. Oh, careful. Careful with the bees. Yeah, good good work. Immediately pulling back the bees. All right, we're watching Entomol. I'm, I'm, I'm loving to watch the Entomologist stuff here. Yo. Good job, Bento. Oh. Okay, I thought he was gonna hit the bees again. I guess he's smart. He knows most Melly's like to pull back the bees after one hit. Drops a Peeper. Okay, Violence bringing Peeper is actually pretty common here. Let's see. Can he get the hit with the note? Huh? Ooh, barely avoids it. I think, oh, I think it hit the bees. Yeah, it hit the bees. That was good. Very, 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 very good for Melly there. Um, allowing it to hit her bees instead. Only got, only has about 45% of the bees left. Uh, does she have flywheel? Let's see. Nope. Well, if she did, she's not gonna, she couldn't use it there. Uh, but Violence finally gets a hit here. Might drop the pallet. Ooh, good patience, good patience, Melly. Oh no, she got stuck, bro. This is that's a Leo's memory moment. That is actually a Leo's memory moment. Getting stuck on like the randomest little things. Ooh, it hit the bees. Wow, that was really close. All right, gets the speed bo boost from the bees, but the bees are probably gonna go down here. She's gonna put them right there. Boom, and no more bees to work with. And oh my gosh, that's actually really bad. Yo, the pace. Oh yeah, he can just note. Wow, that was beautiful. That was beautiful gameplay from the melee. Just sitting there waiting. Once the, once she heard the first note, she's immediately out of there. That was beautiful, dude. Oh my gosh. Beautiful work from Kongo Melly here. Uh, he might drop a peeper. Oh, no, I'm just gonna try a note here. She can't play with this palette. Uh, yeah. That was good. That was good. Yeah, the thing is, Melly, Melly didn't have, have too many locations to go. Oh, the Antiquarian support, though, maybe? Hold on. Oh, nope. Nope, nope, she can't do anything, yeah. She cannot do anything. All right, well, that was a good kite. That was a good kite. That was a three cypher plus kite. That was really, really good. Honestly, if I was that melee, I probably would have gone down like pretty much instantly. So yeah, the, the, both the uh, Hunter and Survivor are doing really, really great here. Uh, Antiquarian obviously still in the area. Garner has ex been exposed and he's gonna shoot some notes all the way over there. Slow the decoding process here a bit. Now, Antonio's camping is really not that bad. He can farm up chair. Oh, ooh, that was close. Melee has nothing to work with though. Oh, the 360? The Antiquarian support? Oh my gosh! Yo, hold on, this match kinda hyped though. This match actually kinda hyped. Melly had nothing to work with, did a 360, then the Antiquarian came in for the support, drops the peeper. Oh my gosh, this is this is great, dude. Oh! Wow, I didn't even, I didn't even see Antiquarian right there. I guess he's worried about getting uh getting more supported. Now Melly's kinda look at look at the movement, dude. She's kinda like making it not. Look at that, dude! The movement from Melly! She's not being predictable at all! Oh my gosh, and he's not a full presence, so he doesn't have his ability yet. Antiquarian's still here to potentially harass. Gonna start slowing Melly down. Yep. Oh. 
Can she get she can get behind the pallet though? Nice. Oh, Antiquarian takes the hit though. Yep, Antiquarian takes the hit, but Mind's Eye is on the cipher. Garner's about to be done with hers. Okay, this should Oh, this the cipher's primed. The cipher's primed, okay. Yep. Cypher is primed. Oh, but dungeon. Alright, we might see Gardner come in for the rescue here then. He's already picking up Tinnitus. I doubt I doubt Ento would come in. It surely has to be Gardner, right? Drops the peeper. The only Ash, yeah, that's the mind's eye, so yeah, Gardner's coming in. Uh will she stand still? Yep. Gonna stand still. Can't even get Oh, he tried to body block there too. Alright. Can get dropped on him potentially. Oh! <gasps> no way! No way! Oh my gosh! That was that was beautiful, dude. He got the drop down hit the perfect. Oh my gosh! Okay, this is gonna be Ty. This is gonna be Ty. The thing is, the the gardener just has to buy as much time as possible. Wait, she can maybe get her thing back. No way. No way. Okay, yeah, that's that's gotta be Ty. Yo, mine's what is mine's eye doing? What? Oh, I think she might just be feeding tinnitus. Yeah, she's probably just feeding tinnitus for a bit, so he's forcing him to stay down there. Uh, he could trade top teleport, but I don't think it'll be ready in time. Yeah, this this should be Ty. Wow, that was that was beautiful, dude. That was actually beautiful. That Antonio gameplay, dude, and Entomol just makes it out. Let's go! Oh, you love to see it, dude. That was a really good match. That was a really really good match. Oh my gosh. As for rating, I think I'm gonna give that an eight. Thing is, I want to save like nine and ten for like really like dummy hype matches, so I'll give that like an eight. That was a really good match, though. That was a really really good match. Now let's watch this Antiquarian. Yo, this is actually you know pretty cool. I won't even lie. Getting to watch the pros when they're actually pros. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we got Antiquarian, but we have another Kongho Meli, bro. So awesome. Um, wait, no way. It's the same one, right? I don't think it is. I'd laugh if it was. <laughs> like, imagine. Wait, is the Ant maybe the Ant uh, Antiquarian and, uh, and Entomol just they're in a duo? I don't know if it's the same ones. I actually don't know. Anyway, they're going up against Alva here. Uh, Explorer, forward, Entomologist, uh, and Antiquarian is the full team. I forgot to mention the full team earlier. Uh, yeah, this is a this is a decent team. Oh, yo, some of these characters just pop up with the emotes. What the heck? Yeah, so Ford is taking the kite here, and Explorer is actually very very good against this character, um, considering the fact that Alva he really just slows down the cipher progress. But the thing is with Explorer Page, uh, fun fact for those who haven't played Explorer against Alva before, if you get the 100 page uh, password or whatever. When you decode a cipher, it won't fully complete that cipher if it's connected to other ciphers. It'll only go up to like, I think like 60% or something, but it'll like zoom up all the other ciphers as well. So I hope we get to actually see that uh, from the Explorer potentially here. I think he already used up one of the, uh, actually yeah, he already used up one of the letters. Probably gonna, probably gonna go try and find some more. And let's see, actually let's let's take a look at uh, the forward here. The forward is the one taking the chase. Explorer is nearby, yeah, be careful. Don't, don't kill your little friend there. Whoa! Yo, I always forget how fast this character vaults, bro. Ford is actually so freaking good. Like, the, like he only has a decoding debuff. Like, this character is pretty much good at everything else. However, uh, as decent as this guy has been, he is completely out of football. So we're going to see no chances uh, to harass from this forward. Gets the stun, drops the pallet, going to be able to break the pallet, and he continues on. Uh, it's funny that he brought excitement. So... What the... Wait... Oh, he, no, he didn't get the hit. He hit the, he hit the pallet there. Hits the pallet. All right, Explorer got the 50 page. Oh, vaults. Okay, vaults for the speed boost. Oh, <gasps> I wonder if the, wait, who did that? Oh, he's going to go down. Yep. That was a good stun from Alva. That was a good stun. Yeah, for, forward with knee-jerk reflex is interesting. Normally, I see them carry tied. Very interesting. Ah, oh, he's screaming, bro. All right, sorry, Will. Let's, let's watch the person that we're actually supposed to be watching here, Antiquarian. Uh, looks like she's going to be coming in for the rescue here. I wish we get to see the builds of the other characters. Unfortunately, we only get to see the Antiquarian's build here. Um, yeah, so... I'm going to play around in this area for a bit. Stun, yeah, he's going to start going for some stun trick. Oh, one stun. <gasps> the excitement? Oh, my. Melee comes in to take the hit? Why did Melee come in? I don't know. Hold on. Let's take a look at Will here. Continuing the kite, another stun, and... Oh, but the damage sharing. Dude, the damage sharing is such a double-edged sword, dude. It makes, like, one person's kite last for a very, very long time. But at the same time, the map presence from all the damage can really, really hurt. Especially with this freaking ability here. Um, the impact, yeah, most most hermits run this impact thing. Um, 
Actually, is that in his base kit? I don't even know. Well, either way, that freaking impact ability is really good because it like, slows down the healing process, uh, which can be pretty annoying. But it looks like Will has actually escaped here, so that's good for... Well, hold on. I say that. I do say that. Antiquator has actually gone down, healed up by their entomologist buddy. Explorer actually goes down. What? What did I miss? <laughs> Yo, okay, there's a lot happening in this match, that's for sure. Um, doesn't have too much of a page. Antiquator, maybe? Ooh. I like the attempt, but yeah, that was just rough. That was that was just rough. Um, yeah, so what do you do here? Nobody can nobody can rescue freely. Oh, he's already back up. Careful, Melly, careful. Wait. Oh my gosh, that's so risky. Everybody's dead. Oh no, this is bad. This is bad, dude. This. Mm. Oh no, man. I I think this might be. They're all on the ground. Oh my gosh, Hermit. Hermit, sweep. Wait, he could just basement three of these characters. Yep. Antiquarian can come back down, but she has no tide or anything. Oh my gosh. Does Antiquarian actually come down? She has to. She has no other choice. She has to just triple stun. But he has excitement. It's over. No, she excitement. Pop excitement. Down she goes. Yep. Yep. I saw that coming. She had no choice, though. Is this going to be a basement party? Every single person in basement? This is actually a basement party game. What the heck? Forward's going to come on in, and yeah, this is actually just basement party. Bro. Bro. Don't do it, Will. Don't do it. Oh, can he get the rescue? Oh, hold on. Wait. No way. No way they make this happen. No way they make this happen. Bro. There's no way they escaped dungeon. There's no way, right? Hold on, who said? Wait, it's a Korean ground explorer's book. She can get small. It's not going to help. Yeah, that's not gonna help her. Oh, pallet stun! Oh, I thought I thought I, th I thought that was gonna be enough time to pallet stun. All right, well, Antiquarian I think is dead on chair. Entomology is dead on chair. Forward is also dead on chair. Literally, they're all dead on chair. I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah. Thing is, I don't know what you do here. Nice. He still hasn't trade swap. If he really wanted to, he could just trade swap blink down. Uh, actually, no. He would. She wouldn't. Uh, that wouldn't be a down. That would not be a down because forward damage. Actually, wait. No. What happened to Ford? I thought he had the red. Did he get inside a locker? Wait, he's in a... Is he... Is he in a locker? He's in the locker. What? Oh, they just surrender. That was a good freaking match. And oh my gosh. Bro, this is my friend. Yo, this... I, I, I've matched with Wolfie. Okay. I don't mean to expose you, buddy, but we're gonna watch your prospector. That's actually so funny that he showed up here, not even under my friend section, literally just here. That's actually so cool. Uh, I'm actually planning to rank with him once again here, coming soon. And he actually told me he got the S badge for prospector. He's the 10th prospector on NAEU right now. So that's pretty awesome, you know, get, grinding out that freaking S badge. Um, pretty cool. Let's see, let's see what he, he can cook up here. Obviously gonna be the one decoding right now. Mind's Eye is thankfully decoding. Oh, wait, maybe not for long though. Hold on. Oh, toy merchant. Oh, toy merchant. Yeah, she's she's hiding up here. Toy merchant is really freaking good on this map, dude. She can set up some really really good catapults. Um, and already, poor Violetta here has not found anybody to chase yet. <gasps> she goes the wrong way. Oh, come on. Okay, yeah, get set up, set up these webs. Set up these webs immediately. Yeah, get rid of this pallet right away. I, I mean, that buys some time, you know. But she's got the webs, the speed, and it's toy merchant though. Yeah, it's toy merchant. Yep, it's Toy Merchant, so she can get some good distance here. Um, why didn't you just go around? Interesting. Oh, hold on. Here's our buddy. Here's our buddy. Amelie pulls out the magnet. Yep, nice. Nice. Here comes a stun. Nice, nice. She can go around, though. Oh, be careful. Oh, he's got Ninja Reflex, though. Out the webs. Yeah, use the magnet. Oh, nice. Yeah, don't vault there. Don't vault. Yeah, she has so many webs set up in this area. This is going to be a pretty tough, pre pretty tough to kite in this area. Oh, she changes targets. She changes targets to the mind's eye. Oh, snap. Mind's eye, be careful. Look out. You're just cannon fodder for this freaking spider. Oh, gets behind the pallet. Drop this one. Yup, yup. Makes sense. Gonna have to take a web. Yeah, she, she has so many webs set up in this area. This is a really good looping area, but 
you know, Soul Weaver, what is she doing? What was that? Do you see that like weird movement? All right, can she get to this pallet? Uh? Oh, I think she's just waiting for the web. Yeah, got another web. Yeah, mine's like so slow right now. That's gonna be a free hit. Boop, yep. All right, transition up into hospital. There, there should still be a pallet up here to work with. Yeah, go to the pallet. Oh, just drops that. Wow, it doesn't go to the pallet. But Soul Weaver, what? Interesting. Yeah, I just want to go, gonna go out this window here instead. Uh, Soul Weaver only has teleport. Wait, wait, wait. I just saw Whippy Clown. Wait. I th oh yeah, I think he missed his rocket. They're supporting this Mind's Eyes kite here. And Protector's here. Yo, our buddy, come on. Nice stun, bud, nice stun. Oh, but you canceled the pallet. No, that's so bad. All right, Mind's Eye, yep. Still trying to hit, thank, good thank goodness she doesn't have blink. The thing is, no one has gone down yet. After all this time, not a single person has gone down. We might see some Weepy Clown harassment here. Oh, baby. Yeah, yo, Weepy gameplay, let's go. All right, that's not that long of a stun. That's, that's an okay, yeah, that's an okay amount of a stun. Yeah, I feel, like, I feel like this character's relatively fun. Oh, he's taking off the webs, too. He's taking the webs for the mind's eye. That's smart. That's smart. Um, oh, there's the catapult, too. Take the catapult. Take the catapult. Oh, gets the web shot, but... Yeah, that was a, that's a beautiful catapult position. Wow, that's a beautiful catapult position. See what I mean by freaking Toy Merchant being so good on this map? Freaking Mind's Eye is getting all the support, dude. He's getting all the support. I just... Why isn't she getting aggressive, though? I feel like she could really get aggressive here. The Soul Weaver. And our buddy's taking the chase. Oh, I, I think he vaulted and she tried to hit through the window. Another Weeping Clown rocket, oh my gosh. Oh, this poor Soul Weaver, dude. This poor Soul Weaver. Oh gosh, and they're healing up the mind's eye. Weeping Clown's gonna go down. That's her first down after all this time. And the thing is, I think that's the last Cypher over there though. <laughs> he does the dance. Oh my gosh, you're so goofy, bro. Oh, it's so goofy. <laughs> Yo, I gotta start emoting sometimes, just randomly, dude. Not like to provoke the hunter, but you know, just to just to be stupid. Oh, Lee? Wait, what? Hits the toy merchant? Why is toy merchant here? And why didn't she hit? What? I am confused. Why did she switch targets? Is this not the prime cipher? Okay, they're just gonna heal. Why did she go after toy merchant instead? I don't understand. Well, either way. I guess she just must have thought that that was going to be an easier chase. They're healing up right over here, but Violeta can see you. She can just web shot. Yep, there's the web shot, but they get the heal off in time. Uh, you still have three magnets. This this has to be prime. Yeah, this, this cypher has to be prime. If she, she really, if she want to get aggressive here, um, which could be a bit risky. Oh, here comes long stun. Oh, this is going to be a big stun. Never mind. That was not that big of a stun. <laughs> I thought you were going to stun her to the bed. Misses the web shot. Is that not the Prime Cypher over there? I thought that was a Prime Cypher. Oh no, Mind's Eye is uh, about to Prime a Cypher, okay. Well, this is looking like a three man escape probably. Um, oh, oh, use the, nice, nice, nice. Oh, be careful. You can't get the stun, you can't get the stun, buddy. Maybe, maybe, maybe right here on the log. Oh, goes for the pal instead, nice. Got the pal to work with. She's so fast though. The magnet again, attract. Nope, goes for repel again, nice. All right, all right. Yeah, you're definitely gonna go down here, pal. Flywheel? Oh, uh, didn't, didn't you have flywheel? I don't remember. Um, that was good though. Oh, she teleports, she teleports. Wow, the aggression, hold on. I thought she's gonna chair you. This aggression might bite her in the back, hold on. Oh, Toy Merchant got that knee-jerk reflex speed. Oh my gosh, she's so fast. She has, She barely has any webs. Oh, no, this, she should get the down here. She should be able to get this down. Yep, maybe? Thing is, Toy Merchant doesn't have enough time to put down a catapult. Yeah, she does not have enough time. Web shot, and that's it. Look at the speed! She's so slow! Oh, she was so slow. And our buddy Protector gets back up. Yeah, they're gonna be able to escape. They're gonna be able to escape, because the thing is, they rush you before half, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, teleport's not back up. That's a three, man. That's a three, man. Good work, good work, guys. Yo, they're all popping off. Yo, good work, team. Oh, the Protector dance. Such an iconic dance, bro. I, I giggle every time I see it, dude. I giggle every time I see that freaking dance. Oh my gosh. Nice work, Wolfie, nice work. I'll give that a solid seven. That was a really entertaining match. Next, let's watch this Wu Chang. All right, now I haven't really played Wu Chang too much, but when I start playing Wu Chang, bro, I already know what I'm gonna do. And that is that I'm only gonna spam Bell, bro, because Bell is freaking broken, bro. 
I swear, every time, every time I fight this character, I feel like I'm doing well, and then he just bells me, and I just lose. Like, every time without fail, bro. I don't know what it is. I do not know what it is, man. Uh, but yeah, we have uh, Priestess Antiquarian First Officer and Weepy Clown here. Um, Can she take it? Yeah, she can take it, but he can come on, too. Oh, the Wu Chang on the coaster. Yo, look at him. He looks so patient. He's like, yeah, I'll wait. I'll wait, bro. I'll wait. <laughs> oh, but the disarm. Double disarm. All right, only need two. Makes sense. Now she has this pallet here. Oh, not quite. Goes for a third disarm. Wow. Gets the pallet. Breaks the pallet. And and now, now she can start looping around this area. Makes sense. Makes sense. It, wow. What? Really? She really didn't want to take that hit, huh? I did not think she would use the jump. All right. That's honestly a bit of a surprise. Well, she used more of the flute. She has more of the flute ready. Yup. One more. Yeah, one more disarm ready. Oh, but it, it, was a, it was a short disarm because the first officer is nearby. Yeah, for those who don't know, when Antiquin is nearby her allies, the disarms last less time. So you really wanted to be on her own when she's kiting. Um, but so far, this is an okay kite, you know, with the support of, well, basically using all, all, almost all of the flute and uh, the coaster. Does she take the coaster, though? I don't think she did. Oh, no, she did take the coaster. Okay. Walks through the Priestess Portal. He actually gained some distance to get closer. What? The Priestess Portal actually working against the team here. We've been clown here for a potential, uh, potential harass. Yep. They're saying, help me, help me. Oh my gosh. Almost transitioned right into Wu Chang. The blink. And there is the down. Did she? I think she tried to flute there. She reacted to it. Tried to flute. And we clown used a rocket. And it was completely pointless. All right. Um, yeah. Wow, his, I did not know his rockets had a 20 second cooldown. Wow, that's actually kind of crazy. Um, I want to see Weeping Clown get this rescue and then use the rocket to help rebound. I've never I've never seen a game. I've never witnessed a game or been a part of a game where the, I've been able to, like, you know, see the Weeping Clown have two people on it. I've only seen it in, like, clips. I've literally only seen it in, like, clips from people. Oh, he's going to Soul Siphon. Oh, gets the hit. Yo, come on, please. Please use rocket. No, I want to. Oh, he's going to use rocket to harass. Come on. I want to see it, bro. I want to see it so badly. I don't even care if it's good. I just want to see it, man. Oh. Oh, it's white guard. Okay, so she's. I think she's been soul siphoned there. Has she been? I think she has been. Uh, I don't think it's yet. There's the bell. All right. There it is. Now, now that you use the bell, you know what I'm going to do every time I freaking see this character. Oh, almost hits the window there. But yeah, every time, every time I see this freaking character... And he uses the bell. I'm going to play the stupid Taco Bell freaking bell sound effect. <laughs> bell is ready. Let's see. Oh, there it is again, dude. And did she get reverse controls? I swear she did. Okay. Um, Weepy Clown could potentially go for a rocket. Has the rocket ready. He can just drop it. What? Rescues? All right. That. Bro, what's even the point? What? What's the point of the item if you can't even get a chance to escape from it i mean i guess like maybe body blocking as well but like all right what yo this character is trash no that's not that's not true i guess the thing is like the thing is the rockets there they have many uses right uh first off doing a great job of buying some time here he's just swinging like a magman yeah he's just swimming, swinging like a madman as you do whenever this pocket watch yep finally gets a hit on the first officer boop 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 it's a tie turner hits the first officer gonna drop the pallet maybe oh Sets at the Priestess Portal, wow! Hold on! He can go through the Priestess Portal! Oh my gosh, they can both go through it! What?! No way, and Priestess came through just for a second! He can just hit everybody here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's gonna be double down. And oh, it's not too far away, he can actually use Umbrella over there! Well, not yet. Alright, the Soul Siphon for the speed. Oh no. Oh no, oh no. Goes for the Umbrella. Locks him off, has the Blink to work with. I don't know if the cypher is ready yet. Oh, are we going to see Bell? Is it time for Taco Bell? Antiquarian Priestess, you are going straight to Taco Bell. Oh, goes for the umbrella. And there's the bell. Yep, I do the auto bell so busted, bro. Auto bell is so busted. Oh my gosh, dude. I hate that freaking ability. Whenever, whenever your umbrella is in the range of the umbrella, he will auto bell and it like just auto makes you go down. And it's honestly really freaking annoying because I swear it's the only thing I go down to when I fight this character. Priestess is chilling here, sets up the portal. Yep. Makes sense, makes sense. Takes the portal. Uh, this should honestly be... Wait, why are they healing? Decode what? No, you 100% should be decoding here. Why are they healing? Why are you decoding that cypher? He's gonna go back for it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, literally, Priestess like, decode another cypher. Oh my gosh. I do not know what these survivors are doing. 
They should decode. Oh my gosh, this is not good. Uh, auto bell? Nope. No auto bell. You gotta use the watch here. Just use the watch, bro. Just use the watch. Oh, he's gonna go down. Yo, Bell is actually so free. Bell is actually the freest thing I think I've ever seen. What do you actually do against Bell? It's either 3k or tie. I don't think it'll be 4k. At, at this point, I don't think it can be 4k. It, dude, it's just the fact that like he's just going back and forth between this cypher so much. And he still has his blink. Uh, yep, yeah, you gotta use a soul cypher to catch up. Gets a hit. Yeah, dude. The freaking white guard has so much range, dude. The white guard uh, from Wu-Chang has so much range. And let's see here. Sets up the long portal again? What? So much long portal game. He's gonna go down. The flywheel? Oh my gosh. He can't make it though. He can't make it. Bro, that range. Yo, Wu-Chang has dummy good range, bro. Oh, you gotta, you just gotta break the long portal. That makes sense. Priestess doesn't even take the long portal? I guess to, yeah, to just stay in the area to rescue Weeping Clown, actually, that makes sense. All right, they have to, oh, that Cypher from first off is actually pretty much set up. That's good, that's good. And he cannot swap the teleport because he has insolence. Oh, it's basement, but there's Priestess. Priestess can't, can rescue from basement without too much trouble. She'll, she, she should just portal down. Portal down, avoid drop down hit. Oh, he's ready for it, he's, he's waiting down. Yeah, he's smart though, he knows there's Priestess on the team. Yup, there it is. Breaks the escape route first. And what? Oh, sw okay, swaps, yep. Gets the auto bell, hits priestess, and they just pop. Oh, you didn't. You definitely did not want to hit the priestess there. Yeah, because now everybody's at full health, which it doesn't really matter, but you know. You definitely didn't want to hit the priestess there because you would have rather got it down. Um, anyway. Yeah, th this is a, this should be a tie. Like I said, here's, yeah, it sets up. We're gonna blink, gonna blink. Doesn't blink? Don't, just blink, bro, there we go. I say, just blink, secure your draw, bro, secure your draw. He's gonna get aggressive. Is he an umbrella over there? Oh, he might be able to make it. Hold on. No way. It's Soul Siphon, but it's Soul Siphon, not not the freaking. Yeah, it's Soul Siphon, not Bell. Okay, I don't. Her position looked weird, and yeah, we've been going this out. So that's a tie. All right. Well, that was some. Uh, that was that was some Wu Chang gaming. Um, pretty interesting stuff, dude. Pretty interesting stuff. That was a pretty solid match, though. I'll give that like a six. Yeah, that, that was like a six for me. I do want to watch this coordinator though. Let's see some cord gaming. I'm actually pretty fond of coordinator because coordinator was kind of one of my early-ish mains. When I first started the game, obviously I really only played doctor uh, cause she was like, you know, she, she was the character that could self heal and I always felt scared whenever I got hit by the hunter. And in a lot of the early matches, you know, they would give up and stop chasing you. Like most hunters didn't know what they were doing. Most stars didn't know what they were doing. So I, I could get away with self-healing all the time, but now, no, no, not so much. Docs is kind of body block, run away, body block, run away. Kind of, kind of an annoying character. Uh, but then I played a little bit of Prisoner, and then I played a little bit of Coordinator, and I really enjoyed both those characters. Um, so I, I have quite the fondness toward Coordinator, and I, I, I really think she deserves a buff here. Uh, Garner, it looks like she actually got a pallet stun there. Was that what I just saw? Or no, I'm sorry. Uh, Bane appeared to hit the bubble on the Garner. Um, misses, misses the freaking grappling hook. This is the grappling hook again, but he keeps hitting the pallets. And yeah, Gardner's playing on the side. Let me, let me take a look at the Gardner here, actually. Playing on the spot really, really well. Oh, sets up the trap, though. Sets up the trap. Flywheel? Oh, early flywheel. I would have flywheeled there, too, though. It's okay, bread. I would have flywheeled there, too. Oh, Bane prediction. Bane prediction. Yep, ha has the bubble. Has the bubble set up. He's going he's gonna to blink down, either. He's, she's definitely going down here. Yeah, drop the pallet quick. Drop the pallet. 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 What? Yo? What was that diligence? Okay, cowboy in the area. If he runs to that pallet, oh, 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 cowboy, be careful. Gets hit onto the cowboy. Wow. Yeah, thing is, if, if cowboy got that pallet done, that would that would have freaking hurt, dude. Oh, okay. Thank goodness, there's something in the way for this gardener here. Um, already two ciphers done though. Wow, this is a pretty freaking good kite. Gets the bubble. Oh, wow, nice bubble. Nice bubble, Gardner. Be careful. All right, he's gonna have to grab it. They're doing a great job of kiting Bane here. Yeah, I figured there's gonna be a trap set up there. Flywheel is not ready. Coordinator is here to protect your support. Yep, grabs her, and that's a down. Yep, that's a down. But Coordinator and Cowboy are here to both harass this poor freaking Bane, dude. Oh, flare gun. Flare gun, flare gun, flare gun. Doesn't drop the gun. Flare gun plus the cowboy. Oh my gosh.
Bro, if I am this Bane, I am actually crying. I am actually crying. What? Bro. The flare gun into the cowboy support. Oh my gosh. And she's just she's just taking a ride, dude. She is just taking a ride with old Kevin. Bro. Yo, she is actually just taking the ride. Yeah, the thing is, Cowboy's at half health, so this is what you want to do. Um, if he was carrying a male survivor, they'd both go down here, but if he's the only one who... Okay, finally sets him down. Oh, be careful. All right. I would have honestly liked to see Cowboy just keep on carrying Garner and then just take the hit. Because Cowboy going down would be fine, then Garner would pick up the escape. All right. I appreciate the attempt, Coordinator, but Cowboy could potentially get the lasso. Oh! Yeah, drops the Garner. All right, yep. Faded out the lasso successfully. And going down into basement. But the thing is, Prospector has literally been freaking, um, freaking, de <laughs> freaking decoding this whole time. And he's also harassing characters. There are literally three harassing characters in this match. Let's take a look at the Banester here. He probably wants to get drop down hit. The thing is, that's, that's the Garner's first chair. And the Cypher is probably, oh, and we got the freaking Doofus of Goetia here, bro. The flywheel to dodge you. I, I, I bet Banes hate flywheels so much. I, I can only imagine they hate. Oh no, bro. No, bro. It's over, bro. Oh no. The goat of Goetia. He's crazy out here, bro. He's crazy. Oh, he wants drop down hit. He wants that drop down hit. Careful, careful. Oh. Get set on the cord. Get out of there. Get out of there. All right. Don't, uh, Gardner can take the hit here. He's trying to hit Gardner. Oh, the stun again. Yo, be careful not to use too many stuns before end game. Is anybody on the prime side? I imagine Cowboy. Hold on. Is Cowboy at the prime side? Oh, it's not, it's not primed yet. Okay. So, okay, that makes sense. They did have to buy more time. Yo, Doofus of Goetia, we're gonna need some more, uh... I might need another magnet here, bro. Uh, maybe not. What? What? That's a thing? I didn't know that. What? You can use Bubble to walk through a trap. I didn't know that. Okay, that's actually really cool. They just pop? What? They just pop right there? Wow, okay. Interesting choice, but they're all here. This is so dangerous. Flywheels through Bane. And finally goes down. Wow, what? What? No way. No way, Prospector. Okay, yeah, just, just get out of here, guys. Just get out of here. I think it's not even Garner's last chair. But the cowboy? No, Kevin, be careful, bro. All right, he sets, sets Garner down. Picks her back up. Yep. The thing is, there, he chairs right there. Uh, but the, does he really teleport just for the few extra feet? Oh, he teleports to the chair, bro. Oh my gosh. Oh no. I'm just watching the coordinator here, bro. Yo. Does coordinator have tide? Yo, they want this so badly. Yeah, coordinator, coordinator goes down, rip. Dude, they wanted this so bad. They get the they get the rescue, but then he can just Oh my gosh. Bro, this poor Bane. Yo, the freaking pets are so loud. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna step the double. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you can. That literally, that literally make friends so they can. Uh, they they can't get in the freaking uh, gate. The du the double traps there. So, oh, he got caught. He got caught in the trap. No, Nort, bro. Oh no, bro. But Cornetta can self heal. She can self heal. She can self heal. Self heal. Yo, what other time are you gonna use it? What other time? Yeah, now now's the time. Oh my gosh, he's downing everybody. But the Garner chair. Oh my gosh, dude. What is this end game? What is this end game like actually? Cord can't get out, Cord can't get out. Don't get stuck in the trap. Please at least try and dismantle it. Yeah, look at look at shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. I gotta shimmy closer. I hate bane traps dude, because I swear half the time I try to shimmy them, I actually get stuck in them, bro. Alright. Cord, please! Please get out, Cord. Oh my gosh. Alright, dismantle those traps. Yep, dismantle those traps. Come on. Come on. Yeah, he's he's just he, he just wants 1k, bro. I know he could get more, but he, he knows if he leaves that chair for a second, they could potentially rescue again. Uh, Cowboy could honestly just crawl. He could honestly just crawl. No, they heal. Okay. No way they push for this, bro. No way. There's no way, bro. They can't do this. Detention's run out, but it doesn't matter. They're all at half health. Bro. If Cord has, like, tie, this that's it. Bro, that's it. If Cord has tie, that's it. They need, they need him to, like, they need to force chair hit or something. They need to get, like, a stun. Prospector is the one who has a stun, so that's the issue. Oh. The chair hit, that's it. That, she, she has tied. She doesn't even have tied. Oh, okay, he needs some magnet here. He needs some magnet. Wrong person. He teleports, though. He teleports and he sets up the traps. Like, oh my gosh, dude. No way. What is this endgame? Yo, you stay back there. You stay back there. You stay. Get out of there. Get out of there. 
Oh, okay. Garner gets out. That's good. Garner gets out. Bro. The Bainster. The Bainster is gaming, bro. The Bainster is gaming. Cowboy, be careful. Oh. Sets up a trap. Look out, cowboy. Kevin. You're going to have to lasso or something, bro. Nice, nice. The speed. Yo, he gets so much speed from last day. His flywheel. Yeah, just charge attack. All right, cowboy. Ah, he hasn't been charred yet, though. They can heal up and get the rescue again. What is this end game? They're pushing so hard for this, bro. This poor freaking gamekeeper. Oh my! No, they're just gonna. Are they just gonna go for it? The thing is, there's two traps. There's two traps. Corner picked up Euphoria in that time. You can't, bro. You you can't pick up for the edge. Okay, he's gonna stop the. Oh my gosh, dude. Wait, no. I'm sorry. Corner has toolbox. I'm so stupid. I thought she had freaking Euphoria for a second. All right, cowboy. Yeah, you just go in there. They have to get rid of those traps, bro. Oh, grabs cord. Flywheels. Oh my gosh. Misses the hit. Oh my gosh. Gets hit on the coordinator. But the prospector is here. Bro, they're. Oh, he get it. Yo, cowboy, no! No! Prospector, you have to you have to clutch up right now. Prospector, you actually have to clutch up right now. Oh my gosh. Here we go, here we go. Come on, prospector. Oh, he drops, he drops, he drops. Sets up the trap. Okay, now nah, this is this might just be a tie. Bro. He doesn't get it, he doesn't get it, he has no magnet. Oh, he has one more magnet, he has one more magnet. Nah, I, at this point you gotta cut your losses and just maybe get a tie. No way. They're still pushing for it. Yo, they're still pushing for it. Oh my gosh. Cowboy, did Cowboy use up a selfie? I don't know. Bro. 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 He's gonna, no, he's gonna use, he's gonna use the thing again. He's gonna use the, oh my gosh. Ah! Down, oh, he down, yeah, instantly farms cord. Bro, what is actually happening? He teleports and he's gonna set up the trap again. Oh no, he just does that to grab Cowboy. Bro, what is this game? What is this game? Yo, just cut your losses and go for the tie, bro. There's no way you're getting, <gasps> no way, Kevin! No way. He grabs, that's it, he's down, he's down. Bro, no, Prospector, you shouldn't. Once you saw that thing's. Oh no, Corner can't. Can she, can she self heal? No, she's, she's crawling, she's crawling. I don't think she could have self healed. Bro, they're trying so. They want this so badly, bro. They want this so badly. Oh my gosh. Bro, they actually want this so badly. Is he like trying to clip through? What the heck is happening? What? Alright. Prospector's at 99. If he goes down, Prospector self heals, gets the rescue. Yep, nice, perfect timing, perfect timing. Dude, oh my gosh, he has sets up the mine. He threw down the mine already. Gets a cyber speed boost. Oh my gosh, here we go again, man. The traps. Two, another magnet. Stun, stun. Big stun. Yeah, he, honestly, he should maybe just get out of here. He should maybe just get. Out. No, close that, close that. Get out of there, Cord. Get out of there. No, nope, she's gonna go down. Bro, you gotta just, you have to cut your losses at this point. You really do, right? What is this end game? It's just, okay, Cord is dead on chair. She is dead on chair, so you cannot rescue. Wait! <gasps> no way! All right, just get out of here, bro. You gotta get out of here. No, he's gonna go for Nort. He's gonna go for Nort, yep. Oh, he has no magnet, he has no magnet. He has no magnet. Bro, there's no way he buys enough time, right? Bro. There's no way he buys enough time here. He's just gonna go down. He has flywheel, maybe. Did he get flywheel? Oh my gosh. Connor says, help me. He's kind of busy here. Yo, this loop though, what is happening? There's, I swear, bro, please, man. Bro, what is actually happening? I swear, if this is actually, okay, Coordinator is gonna go down again. The flywheel? Bro, what is happening? He's just gonna teleport again. Oh my gosh, bro, <laughs> please end this game. Oh my gosh, the trap is three traps set up this time. He's like, yo, you are not getting out. Just cut your losses and get a tie at this point. Oh my gosh, bro, you have to just, they're just healing. But the thing is now the alley of crows, Prospect is dead, bro. No, this, this should be three escape now. Cause they can't get out. Coordinator's dead. Uh, boop. All right. And now I can chase. No, this should this should be three k. This should be three k. 
Did he not hear the cowboy? I guess he didn't hear the cowboy. This should be 3K. All right, now he sees cowboy. After all that work, then they could have just got a tie, bro. They could have just got a tie. Bro, he can just keep putting down traps. Cowboy's dead. He's 100% dead here. Yeah, he's he is 100% dead. He's just waiting by the pallet. Oh my gosh. Yo, the patience from this cowboy, bro. But he's so slow. Here we go again. Here we go again. He's respecting the pallet. Oh my gosh. Yep, he downs him. Yep. That's it. That's it. Bro. What was that end game? I've lost so many brain cells while looking at them. They could have just gone for the top. I thing is like there was a very very small chance that that was like freaking four escape right but the set once he teleported back killed norton put down the traps that was it that was it if norton had like one more magnet bro that was that was potentially a, at least three escape i was gonna do one more but i unfortunately out of time because that one match took up so much freaking time dude anyways yeah that was fun uh, i'll give that match like a solid nine out of ten because you know it was really really hype uh, just watching the cycle go over and over and over again. I really didn't know who's gonna come out on top there Honestly, like the survivors were so greedy, but you know Bane was just he was fighting the good fight <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that'll be it for me. Thanks so much for watching buddy. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye. Bye